क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल सी थ्री लेवल लेजर सिस्टम थ्री लेवल लेजर सिस्टम इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज थ्री लेवल पंपिंग स्कीम नाउ इन केस ऑफ थ्री लेवल लेजर सिस्टम वी विल कंसिडर हियर थ्री डिफरेंट एनर्जी लेवल्स लेट अस से एनर्जी लेवल ई वन इट्स अ ग्राउंड स्टेट देन वी हैव एनर्जी लेवल ई टू दिस इज एक्साइटेड स्टेट again e3 is also excited state we will consider here optical pumping so in case of optical pumping we are using strong light source of suitable frequency and wavelength so here we have initially the particle which is present in the ground state so this particle which is present in the ground state will absorb photon of suitable frequency so the photon of frequency or energy which is equal to h nu and this h nu should be equal to e3 minus e1 exact energy difference between this two energy level when this amount of energy will incident on the particle which is present in the ground state this particle will absorb that energy and jump into the excited state this excited state is e3 now this excited state is only excited state it is not a meta stable state hence lifetime of particle here is very less we can say approximately 10 raised to minus 8 second after completing that time this particle immediately come back to the lower energy level that is e2 and we know whenever there is a transition from higher energy level to lower energy level there is a emission of energy but this energy level is only excited state so there is a transition that is called as spontaneous emission so here we have e3 to e2 is a spontaneous emission now here we have e2 e2 is again excited state but that excited state is a meta stable state we know the concept of meta stable state meta stable state is that excited state where particles spend more time means particles spend there some milliseconds so first particle of the system will come here in the meta stable state so, and it will spend some time here let us understand this concept suppose we have this energy level e2 which is a meta stable state and here we have e1 now the first particle of system will absorb energy jump into the energy level e3 and it will come back to the energy level e2 now this particle will spend here some time by that time other particle which is present in the e1 will absorb h new amount of energy and jump into the excited state again come back to the energy level e2 let us say this is a second particle of system it was first particle this is second particle now the first particle of system will complete its time in the excited state e2 and it will come back to the lower energy state when it is coming back to lower energy state it will emit photon of energy h nu and this h nu energy is equal to e2 minus e1 now this h nu amount of energy is used to stimulate the particle which is present in the meta stable state so when this particle coming down this particle having its own energy that is h nu which is equal to e2 minus e1 and now the first particle also stimulating the second particle which is present in the meta stable state so when that second particle coming down it will emit two photon in this way the process will start and there is a multiplication of photon will get at the output means when we have a transition from energy level e2 to e1 we will say this is a stimulated emission and this stimulated emission is nothing but laser so we know there are two important requirement for the laser first one we required that is population inversion and the second one we required meta stable state 
if it is a metastable state, then population inversion can be achieved. So, here we have a metastable state. But in case of three-level laser system, we have to achieve population inversion between the ground state and the metastable state E2. So, in this case, it is very difficult to achieve population inversion because we know the ground state is the most stable state. So, there are millions of particle prefer to stay. That's why achieving the more particle in excited state than the ground state is quite difficult. That's why three-level laser system is not that much beneficial. But the example of three-level laser system is ruby laser. Ruby laser is a first discovered laser and it was three-level laser system. So this is the concept of three-level laser system. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and please subscribe Ikeda. Thank you.